Hello, this is Francis again from McCaffrey's Crafts, and I bet you're wondering what what's what's all this about? What's what's he what's he talking about today? Um, well, I thought today I'd do something just to mix it up, something a bit different. And uh, as you can see there, by how the weather is in Ireland today, I thought why not talk about the weather? Um, it's it's something that Irish people talk about continually. Um, most people think, oh, if you have nothing else to talk about, then you talk about the weather. But in Ireland, if you visit here as a tourist, um, you stay here two, three weeks and you'll, you'll be talking about the weather almost every day as well. It's, uh, it's uh, you know, something that is you kind of, I suppose, a bit interesting about Ireland. Um, Ireland, right, right in the, uh, the kind of edge of Europe, and we get a lot of the winds from the, the southwest blowing in from the Atlantic. Um, this brings in uh, a lot of rain and cloud um, into Ireland. And uh, you may think in the, the summer um, that Ireland has some glorious sunny days and, you know, every few years we might have a decent summer, but... The reality is, is that it it rains and it's clouds um for for most days um like I know this because um like I've I've had you know a shop here before, and uh, in July there's thirty uh, one days and for twenty six of them one year it it rained because I was uh, I was a little bit kind of ah you know because usually when you have like a physical shop as well as an online shop the physical shop people are around when it's not raining and you notice then when it's starting to, to rain a lot you don't get you know the the tourists that stop in Kilorglan on the uh, the Ring of Kerry because this place where I'm located it's on the Ring of Kerry which is a tourist driving route and usually many tourists will make their way starting in Killarney and they drive for about 20 minutes and then they hit the town of Kilorglan and usually if it's a nice sunny day they get out their car they park by the fishery they walk around the bridge they walk up past my shop they call in and buy some things and happy days and happy hours to get a few sales but when the weather hits it, you, you'd notice it straight away like people come they take a quick picture of Kilorglan and then they just drive drive by onto the uh, onto the next the next thing so uh, I've always been you know paying attention to, to, to the weather and hoping that we get a you know a nice dry summer um, but uh, yeah, like it's um, it's going to be if you visit Ireland, you're going to need to dress for four seasons. Like we literally can get almost four seasons in one day. It can be cold. There can be sunshine for like an hour. Then it's going to rain and then it's going to be windy and then it gets really cold. So, you know, you see a lot of pictures of, of Ireland and, uh, you know, you think it's going to be quite, quite nice and picturesque to get that perfect shot with the blue sky and you know, the sun setting and, you know, like the skelligs, you know, in the background or some mountain range or something like that. But, uh, you know, you're going to get plenty of, of grey skies as well. So I just thought today I'd just do a kind of random little chat just to kind of make you aware um, of some kind of things that the Irish people talk about. And if you're visiting here, something to kind of be well, well aware of. Um, you know, the best time to, to visit Ireland might be, in my opinion anyways, like maybe may or or september um like once you get to about october the temperatures start to drop considerably and then a lot of the storms come in you know we can get some quite quite big storms from november december all the way up until maybe march time and um, then march time around saint patrick's day sometimes it can be pretty cold like there's been up the almost snow some years and one year i even got sunburnt on a saint patrick's day so it's a very well you know that's that's not saying much given how how you know very very pale irish people are um you know even if sun comes out for a little bit we we tan straight away not tan but we burn burn bright red uh you know as as irish people i suppose we have evolved and been conditioned to survive with a lack of sunshine and sunshine is you know we get the vitamin d from it everyone's talking about that to build up your immune system with with vitamin d um but uh yeah irish people like you know we were were very pale skinned to adapt to our climate so that we can absorb as much sunlight so if sunlight comes out just for a little bit each day or for for 40 uh you know 40 minutes 20 minutes even five minutes that you know we have evolved has been very pale to absorb like the sun anything like that that's why it's it's you know you'd notice an irish person on a beach 
if you uh, you know in in one of these tropical countries like you know they 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 look very very different and turn bright red. So you have to be be careful as an Irish person when you get too much sunshine. Um, so if you are Irish descent or something, be be aware aware of that as well. That's, that's something else that that's connected to the to the weather. But you know, as I say, look, in all this pandemic stuff that's going on, you know, to get a bit of sunshine is is pretty good. Like you know, if you get out for ten to fifteen minutes, it gives you, you know, uh, vitamin D, which can kind of boost your your immune system. And uh, you know, so anyway, going back to when's good time to Ireland. So after St Patrick's Day in April sometimes is actually quite nice um and may for some reason it's just every year it seems to be relatively okay and um, just from my my knowledge anyway like you know probably next year now because i've said it there'll be a big giant storm in may or something like that just that's trust my luck um then the summer months are usually a kind of a mixed bag like some years we could get like five or six weeks of, of like decent weather and we might even get up to really hot days for a few days of it while some summers it practically rains the whole time or, or it's just really cloudy and overcast which which is unusual but um august always seems like a good month or what i always notice when the kids go back to school in september is when the weather is a lot better like um usually all the kids are like pumping sweat and moaning and groaning about going to school while all the parents are happy out enjoying their free mornings you know or in the sunshine well those those who aren't committed to a nine to five type of job of course and uh yeah so like you know if you know, if you're planning to come to Ireland, like you can come in the summertime, um, but it's kind of nice just to come just outside of it as well in April, May, or or September or something like that. It's uh, it's kind of like a nice time. Um, it's a bit less less busy. You you don't run into as many of the tour buses. Like say for example, if you're going to one of these really popular places, the last thing you like say for example in in Dingle, um, if you pull up into Dingle in County Kerry. And you're like, oh, this is a beautiful town and everything. And then all of a sudden you, you see the big car park and there could be 50 big tour buses. And if you hit Dingle around like one o'clock when all the tour buses have their scheduled stops for eating food, it's very even hard to get into a restaurant there. Like I remember me and the kids went out one day and well, it's happened more than once actually. And we're trying to get some food and we're like, no, sorry, we're just here for all the, the tour buses. And it was pretty annoying and stuff. So there's there's, there's things like that um where it's kind of overrun by by tour tour buses and i kind of always believe that kind of takes away from the experience of of coming to ireland that you know i, I understand look if you if you if you want to go on a tour and a, a tour bus and you know if you're that age that you your your mobility and you need your walking stick and all that tour buses are are fine and it's a great way to to see ireland but uh you know if you want to kind of see it you know it, it, a little bit better to enhance the experience it's like drinking a wine you can drink a nice wine experience it have good but you can also you know experience a fine wine as well and you know, seeing ireland off peak to me is like like drinking a, a finer wine in that you do get a more lovely experience and um, the Irish people seem to be less st stressed out and um, it's really weird but when you're walking around them um, Irish people are way happier with the sun and I wonder is it something to do with the, the little ju uh, juice they're getting of, of vitamin D oh sunlight <laughs> magic power beam hits them and then like magic all of a sudden they're happier it's like you're walking around you go going to the post office and place like that on a rainy day and stuff everyone's got the scowl on their face like oh you know complain about the weather you'd, you'd walk around and you'd hear everyone giving out oh the weather's this is too hot oh that's another thing about Ireland before I go is that um if it gets like too hot Irish people do not like it at all like um 20 degrees whatever as in Fahrenheit I haven't got a clue but 20 degrees Celsius you know seems to be about right for Irish like max you know if it goes 21 22 oh it's getting too hot like you know and when it ever goes up even hotter than that everyone's kind of complaining like they love the sunshine for one or two days when it hits because it's brand new we haven't seen sun for ages but then after day three they're like uh eh, you know i've had enough of this sunshine now and stuff so they kind of uh you know take take it take enough of that but look there there you have it i just thought i'd do a kind of a few of these kind of waffling videos every now and again where i pick a topic and as a shillelagh maker i kind of give you my my opinion on it um just see how it goes like just to mix up the channel if if no one likes these videos i'll sure quit them anyway okay thanks for watching and i hope you watch anyway thank you